In a now viral video, Russell Westbrook stood off to the side, away from his Lakers teammates in their pregame huddle before that loss to the Timberwolves. Mid-game, he waved off a defensive huddle from Patrick Beverly. Speaking to reporters Thursday, Westbrook explained he's been, quote, doing the same ritual before games for as long as he's been in the NBA. And now, guys, a little bit of breaking news. According to Woj, just this morning, Westbrook will come off the bench tonight. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Shannon, on a scale of 1 to 10, how big of a problem is this for your Lakers? Skip, you know what, man, I I, I ain't got no scales. I can't measure anymore. I I, I Mm -hmm. think I speak for a lot of Laker Nation fans. They ready to be done with Russ. Mm. Russ doesn't want to be a Laker, and the Lakers doesn't want him. They don't want him. And the, the thing is, I think Laker Nation talking about coming off the bench. When is he going to be able to come off his couch? They, 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 they're done with Russ. I think Russ is done with them also. Yep. I get, Skip, I, I get it. Okay, that's your routine. You don't want to sell it. Okay, I get all that. But when we see this, I've never seen somebody wave off a huddle. We're trying to uh, – and Skip, and, uh, and sometimes, hey, guys, hey. We got a buckle down here. Hey, that was a good play. Hey, let's buckle. Let's settle in. Hey, let's get. Hey, let's run our offense or let's get back on defense. Sometimes that, that's all the huddle is about, Skip. It's not like an it's not like an NFL huddle, Skip, where we calling over plays. Or Sometimes you just call the huddle. Okay, that was a good play. Hey, let's just make sure we get back on defense. Hey, let's go through run our offense. Let's settle down here. And this man, I'm, I'm just so. I look. I, like I said, Skip, I ain't got no scales. I, I don't know. You know what? They, I, I just know that. Him, just like when he gets the ball, I get anxious. I want to turn the TV because I know something, something is good is not about to happen. It's just, it's just frustrating. And, and they made a mistake. The Lakers made a mistake. Russ made a mistake in, 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 in wanting to come to the Lakers. Uh, but this is, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. As long as he's on this team, the Lakers are not going to win a championship or really compete for a championship. So I'm just, I'm just over the hope, hope. I'm over this situation. Hopefully they can get some value out of him running the second unit. I hope that's the case. But it would be so much better if, you know, they were just able to part ways. Mm. Okay. I'm going to start with the first piece of video, the little huddle out on the floor. Right. Initiated by Patrick Beverly. Right. Come here. Let's let's talk this over. Russ says, I was talking to the coaches about a blown coverage. And then he he does sort of come over sideways to it. He he at least honors it a little bit. Yeah, but he's standing on the free throw line. What coach is he talking to? But, I mean, he came over. He came in a little bit. But the point was... Patrick Beverly is taking over for Russ, and he's not going to like it because he doesn't like Patrick Beverly to begin with. Right. He's usurping his quarterback power, right? right. His point guard power. Right. He Patrick is out there initiating as the new leader of the Lakers. Right. Well, LeBron participated, AD participated, right. but Russ is like, no, you, you, I'm I'm the one who's supposed but, to be doing that. But Skip, he, if you go back and look at this video, he doesn't start to come over to AD starts to walk to him and he's talking to him. Go back and look at the video. Yeah. AD starts to walk okay. toward him and talk. Right. Okay, but at least he made a little bit of a move toward it. Just Watch a this, little Skip. bit. Look at AD. AD's looking. Look at AD. Look at AD. Watch AD. See? Now all okay. of a sudden. Well, he sort of made a little <laughs> move. He, he sort of gave a little. Yeah, I'm going to come one step yeah, over. Y'all, right? y'all come the rest right. of the way. Okay, but the other piece of video is wrong, wrong, and wronger. He says, I've been doing the same ritual my whole career. Well, well, you're no longer in Kansas, Dorothy, right? You're not in Oklahoma City anymore. You're not in Houston. You're not in Washington. You're playing for the Los Angeles Lakers. You can't do that while the whole team in their warm-ups is huddling under the basket, which is their ritual. Right. Well, that has to be your ritual. Exactly. He doesn't want to be part of the team Thank anymore. You. It's he, as simple as he, that. He, he has ostracized himself. Right. They don't ostracize him. He says, no, I'm out. It's rebellion on his part. I am a solo act literally now where I'm soloing over here on the bench by myself. My warm-ups are off, and I'm doing my powder toss. I've been I'm doing, doing what, Skip? I had a routine. But when I went to Baltimore, Ray called it up, and we know any dogs in the house, I'm about to pass out. So I wasn't doing any more celebrating, yeah. but I was in the huddle. Okay. Because that was the thing. That That's, was the you, team you thing. Do it. it was no thing. more about me and what I was doing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had a routine when I was in Denver. Had done it for, for a decade, but I went to Baltimore. Now, okay, this, this the team thing? Okay, Shannon, hey, you in a new place. Hey, show that you're a part of that, you, that you bought in hook, line, and sinker. It's always about him. And if you notice, Everybody that speaks in glowing terms about Russell Westbrook that currently plays or formerly played, 
how many championships they won. Mm. You've never heard one player won a championship come to that man's defense. Bradley Beal is his biggest advocate. Right? Anybody? Yeah, I know. That's true. I, I agree. You got that doesn't win. His right. style yeah. does not win you a championship. And all these numbers, numbers are good. I'm not going to sit here and say numbers are, are bad. Hell, I wanted to get numbers, but I wanted to win also. And I was willing to sacrifice numbers in order to win. Yeah, I could have played, could have, you know, hey, Mike, hey, y'all need to just feed me the ball. I need to get me about at least eight, seven targets a game. Mm. No, okay, let me win. And sometimes that might call for me to get 10 targets. Sometimes they call for me to get three or four. Yep. But as long as we win, and I'm cool with that. Mm. Man, care about them stats. That man yep. don't care about no winning. So back to the report. Darvin Ham, it appears to me, through the first, what have they played? Four preseason games? Five. five they, they played five? Uh, this will be the sixth tonight. Okay, five. So through the first five games, Darvin Ham tried to pay homage here to, to Russ. He tried to play to his ego. He tried to finesse his situation by starting him and playing him high, high minutes right. with the starters right. and some with the backups. But when the starters were in, Russ was in. Correct. And I think Darwin began to see what we saw a long time ago. It just doesn't work. It ain't going to work. It doesn't fit. So now we get to the final preseason game, and the report hits the fan that, wait a second, he's coming off the bench he trying to, quote, unquote, quarterback the second unit. He's going to be on swole. Hey, he ain't going to be happy about he, that he one. He can't quarterback anything. He, he, he is the opposite of a quarterback, yeah. right? Yeah. Because – He's got the worst hands I've ever seen in a point guard, and he's up to his old tricks, as we showed the other day with our video. And I thought they made sweet little pickups. Patrick Beverly, Schroeder, they already had Austin Reeves, and he's proven himself as a keeper and somebody you can trust under fire. LeBron loves to play with him. Mm -hmm. So you have all three of those guys to take Russ's minutes. You don't need Russ. He, he only gums up the works here. He's the fly in the ointment here because the ointment's pretty good. Right. But when LeBron is playing on the floor with Russ, he might as well be playing pickleball because he's in a pickle. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. It's pickleball for yeah. LeBron when he's playing with Russ because you can just see his body language like, I, I don't know what to do right. with him. Right. What, what, where does he do? What, what does it, he do? It, Skip, it doesn't fit. You know what? We see these family. I, I was on the internet and I saw these families had like four dogs and a pig. Like, what 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 kind of what what kind of you know zoo you got there? I mean you got okay I see dogs and cats, but they got a little they got a little pig running around and and, and that's Russ. Russ it, he doesn't fit. Mm. At some point in time, Skip, you got to come to the realization. You know what, baby? baby I know we've been together for <laughs> years, but baby, you're not happy. I'm not happy. Mm. We're not working anymore. Yeah. You know I I think it's best that we go our separate ways. We can remain to be friends. You know, hey, we release the statement. Skip is not working. Mm. Nobody thinks it's working. And I'm not blaming Russ. It just didn't work. Mm. We tried the marriage. I thought marriage was for us, baby. Mm -hmm. I thought I was ready for it. Yep. You thought you was ready for it. And maybe I am with someone else. Maybe you are with someone else. Yep. But together, we're not it. Which is why I advocated through the whole offseason, just pay him and send him home, Jeannie. <laughs> and she won't do it because she knows her father wouldn't have done it. Because they're not no. going to swallow their pride and swallow $47 million. No. So Jeannie says, mandate, Darvin Ham, I hire you. You must fix him. Right. Darvin Ham's like, he's unfixable. Right. Maybe I can sort of Let's I'll get, stash him on the second unit. Skip, we've seen that with NFL owners. Okay, you got a quarterback that we drafted very high. Yeah. Okay, hey. You got to work with him. Mm. Oh, I can fix it. Oh, wait, no, I can fix it. And then when you get there, he unfixable. He's unfixable. So now the $47 million is mostly going to sit on the bench. And mark my words on this, Russ's minutes will diminish as the season wears on. Mm -hmm. They'll go lower and lower. And to your point, he's going to make some waves because he's not going to literally sit still down in the middle or end of the bench in uniform, not in street clothes, in uniform and not be on the floor. Man, an MVP, all-star player, all-NBA player, uh, NBA top 75 player, playing 15, 20 yeah, minutes a he, night, he ain't going to be happy he, He's that. obviously a slam dunk first ballot Hall of Famer only because four out of five years he averaged a triple-double triple when we didn't think anybody could average one for one year. Yeah, exactly. He did it four out of five. Right. And that's who he thinks he is when he looks in the mirror. He comes to L.A., he has his dream job, which became his nightmare, and Gotham Choper drops a documentary on him the first week he's here. The Life and Times of Russell Westbrook. 
and he's really Russell West Brick. That's right. who he is in the end. And he got exposed on the biggest stage he's ever played in, and all of a sudden he's he's going to have to accept his new lot in life down the bench, and it, it's going to get fascinating to watch what fits he throws with the media after games. The hardest part, Skip, for an athlete is accepting his own mortality. Yep. And he's only 32. But to so. accept yeah. that your skills are diminishing. Yeah. You're the last to see him go. Whew. All you skill, all you see is that buff guy when you walk across the real life. Yeah, that's, that's mm -mm. you're yeah. not him anymore. Man. Whew. 